as a Canadian, you might assume that you have the right to a healthy environment, but you actually don't, because although that right is formally recognized by more than 100 countries, Canada is not among them. But there are two young people working tirelessly to change that. Environmental rights means everyone deserves to live in a healthy environment. Clean water to drink, healthy food to eat. Meet nine-year-old Franny Yakalashek, reading from her comic strip, and her 12-year-old brother Rupert, two kids out to change the world. Well, Canada at least. Canada is not one of over 100 countries around the world that formally recognize their citizens' right to live in a healthy environment. When these siblings learned that two years ago, they sprang into action. It was just one month ago when I was introduced to the environmental right. I held a rally out, outside of City Hall, which was called Rupert's Rally to a Healthy Environment. I wrote letters to all the candidates, asking them that if they voted for the right to a healthy environment, um, I would try and convince everyone to vote for them. Victoria became the 10th city in Canada to issue an environmental rights declaration. Working with David Suzuki's Blue Dot movement, Rupert and Franny have added more than 23 municipalities across BC to that declaration. Randall Garrison, Tom Mulcair. Yes, I have. Now they're contacting MLAs and MPs right across the country. Write letters to them asking them to support a federal bill of environmental rights. They are just ordinary kids, um, but they have some big ideas and they are willing to work really hard to see them come to pass. We would like to thank Action for Nature for the for this special Eco Hero Award. On October 8th, Rupert and Franny, along with 14 other people from around the world, received international Young Eco Hero Awards from the Blue Dot Foundation. Some people in Canada live in unsafe environmental conditions and it's just the right thing to do. Two young people out to change the world. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, celebrating 80 years of connecting people who care with causes that matter.